Example 43. Find the probability of randomly selecting one card from a deck of 52 cards and getting either a face card or a heart. When I read this problem, it's very clear to me, and I think it's clear to you as well, that this is a probability problem, right? Find the probability. So I know that I'm dealing with probability. The question is, what technique in probability? Well, if I look further, I'm going to find another key word, or a couple of key ideas, I should say. So find the probability of randomly selecting one card. This one card is important. When you're taking only one thing, it's often basic probability, which means it can be solved with a single fraction. But if it has extra key phrases in the problem, then it means that it's probably some other technique that's more involved than just basic probability. So our extra key word is this word or, believe it or not. So find the probability of randomly selecting one card. So it's a probability problem. We're selecting one thing. This is generally going to leave us with three options. We've only covered two of them so far, the first being basic probability, the, section, the second being the addition rule of probability. But the addition rule has this word or. So in other words, you're taking one card and you're asking, hey, is it from this group, base card, or from this other group, heart? And that's the condition that makes it the addition rule of probability. Because you have find the probability, one thing is being selected, and you have the word or present in the problem. So it's one card being face card or a heart. If it just said, for example, find the probability that it was only a face card, that would just be basic probability. But if it says face card or a heart, it now becomes the addition rule. OK, so now that we know it's addition rule, let's go ahead and fill in the formula. The formula is going to work like this. We put the two things that we're looking for in here. So we'll literally say probability of face card, face card, or a heart. So face card or a heart. We fill it in just like that. And then from there, we're going to fill out the rest of the formula by following what it says. If you look at it, it says the first thing, find its probability. The second thing, find its probability. And then subtract off the intersection of the two things. So I'm going to write it this way. I'm going to say that means that this becomes the probability of a face card, right? plus the probability of a heart, minus the probability of, and if you look at the notation, it's going to say face card. But I'm going to write it this way, face card. Instead of intersection heart, I'm going to say face cards that are also hearts. Because that's what this is really asking for, right? So probability of face card or heart is broken down this way. It's the first thing, probability of a face card, plus the probability of the second thing, probability of heart, minus the probability that you would get both of those things at the same time in one card, right? Remember, you're only taking one card, so these have to appear at the same time with just one card. That means it's a face card that's also a heart. Okay, so let's go ahead then and break down each of these phrases into basic probabilities because keep in mind that these are still just basic probabilities that's all they are so this one is going to become the number of number of what face cards right over the total number of cards right so I'll just say total for short plus what's this one become well it becomes the number of hearts right number of hearts divided by again the total and then we're going to subtract off this fraction which remember is going to be number of so remember we always start with number of number of base cards that are also hearts right base cards that are hearts over the total Okay, so those are our, the fractions written out in words. And remember, we like to write it out in words first because that's where all the thinking occurs, right? When you explain this in words, you're actually doing the thinking that's necessary to fill in the formula properly. And then from there, the rest is easy. It's just counting up the things that meet these requirements. So how many things or how many cards here are face cards? Well, remember that face cards mean they literally have a little picture with a face on them. So in this case, the face cards for us are going to be jack queens and kings and it looks like there is what three six nine twelve of those out of the deck right twelve cards that have a face on them over the total number of cards what well, says there are 52 cards plus the number of hearts well we have hearts here right 
If you count those up, you'll see there are 13 of them, 13 hearts in that row. So there are 13 hearts over the total of 52 cards, minus the number of face cards that are also hearts. Face cards that are also hearts. Well, these face cards don't have hearts on them, right? But this, these three do. So there are three face cards that also have hearts on them. So there are exactly three of those cards out of 52. Notice how the denominator is the same throughout. And this is a reflection of the fact that each one of these is really like a little basic probability problem. So in other words, we're, in each case, we're assuming only one card is being selected. So, you know, when I reach into the deck, there's just, you know, one card being taken and out of 12, you know, face cards out of the deck, there, you know, out of 52 cards, pardon me, there are 12 face cards. So the probability that this turns out to be a face card when I take that one card is 12 over 52. Then when we come here, you know, it's not like another card has been taken out or something. That's not how it works, right? This is just starting the problem over kind of and saying, okay, well, what if it doesn't turn out to be a face card? What's the chance it turns out to be a heart? Well, remember, I'm only taking one card. So at the moment I'm reaching into the deck at that point, there are still 52 cards in the deck. The chance that it's a heart is 13 over 52 because there are 13 hearts and so on and so forth. So the message here I guess I'm getting at is that in addition rule of probability, these denominators are always the same. They must be. That's a reflection of the fact that you're only taking one card from the deck, that one card idea here. So if you're only taking one card and you're dealing with addition rule, these denominators should remain the same. Okay, so then finally, just fill in the last detail here, you know, if I take 3 from 13, I get 10, and then 12 and 10 make 22, that'll give you 22 over 52. And you could reduce this by dividing both by 2. You would then get 11 on top and 26 on the bottom. And that's as reduced as that's going to get. But you can get the decimal for it if you're curious. It's 11 divided by 26. And you find the answer to be approximately 0 0.423. So about a 42% chance.